Okay, third one we're gonna try today is the 12 Rec Woodcutter Shiraz uh, 2012. And, uh, but yeah, there we go. Take a look at it. Then says I, and, and we're still kind of like in the, the beginning tier of 12 Rec. And already, you know, I mean, they, they break the mold on quality all the time. Now the woodcutters is, uh, I mean, it's still like I said, it's still the beginning tier, but it's still hand harvested. I mean, this Torbreg is a very labor intensive uh, vineyard, and uh, and how they get rid of the uh, excessive alcohol is uh, most of the fruit here is they are fermented with open top fermenters. That means none of the volatile alcohols are get go back into the wine. So that means. What you want here is the good stuff. The volatile stuff just floats off, right off. Okay? So now on the nose. I have to put my finger on it. I mean, but I do get some sweet blackberry. And I do get some uh, cinnamon notes again. Mm. Hint of rhubarb. I mean, like redu reduced rhubarb. Like the rhubarb pie. I don't know if you guys had much experience with that. Kind of like a, a flowery. Yep, that's it. That's what I'm getting. Very nice flowery notes. It's already stepping up. Um, I definitely get the, uh, the tannins, which are a bit more chewy than the juveniles. And uh, but still, it's kind of like uh, you get the drying effect, but not the bitter effect, which is what I like. And uh, taste-wise, it's a lot drier uh, than the juveniles, less fruity. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's not there. It's just a bit more on the restrained side, giving you the flavors. Uh, a bit more slow release. So the longer you keep it in your mouth, you let your uh, sliver and your, I know this sounds gross, but let your sliver and your taste buds kind of experience it slowly. Mm. And I think this year is 100% Shiraz. Okay, here we go. I'm getting that dry uh, raspberry, strawberry kind of like um, uh, fruit on the mid palate. Yeah. Mm. And a bit of that pepper spice. Yep. Getting that. Tannin acidity wise, it's more of a it's a quite lower acid than the juveniles. Um, but still, like I said, the tannin structure is still holding it pretty well. So, yeah, still pretty good. Body-wise, it's a little heftier than the juveniles. So, I'm going to give it a uh, 7.5. The juvenile's got a 7. God, I can only imagine what the run rig and the other big boys have. That stuff will probably knock you out. Still kind of like the uh, the Kuvi Juvenile's brother. You can see on the finish, it's kind of like it's steady, but still on the uh, lower side, more tall break standard. Okay, uh, but for this is considered very good finish for a lot of commercial uh, wines out there. But this one here has a 25 second finish, which is more than decent. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a. See what did I give the juveniles just now? Uh, it's a little bit better, so I'm gonna give it a 6.5 on the finish. 
but always a delish. Uh, I can only imagine what this wine would be if they did not have open top fermenters on this thing. Because I still get a little bit of heat on the back. Warm, enough to just warm the, you know, my back palate. But not enough to give me a burn, like, you know, cheap, cheap whiskey kind of thing. But this one, it's got a very really nice warming feel. Now, if I were in a temperate country, yeah, I would enjoy that. But I'm kind of in Malaysia now, so uh, it's, it's kind of like rubbing me a little on the wrong side. Um, Mm, look good. Time to go back in uh, for a quick lunch and I'll be right back to taste the rest of the lamb.